Hello everyone, I'm here to explain how the Clever Smart Contracts ecosystem works. So I'm going to explain a little bit of the code. We will download the Clever extension. We will build the smart contract, configure and deploy the smart contract, invoke smart contract fields, and also invoke smart contract functions. So let's open the VAS code. And here, this is the hello contract. It's a very simple smart contract. You have a function message that it's a single value mapper of a managed buffer. And above it, we have two macros. So the first one is a storage mapper that have the key message. So it means that this value will be stored in the Clever chain. And also the view that we name as get message. And it means that we can retrieve this single value mapper value from a node API call. So we will pass the this function name get message and through the node API, we will retrieve this value. We have this endpoint that I name it a set message that receives a message and set the mapper value. So it will override the mapper value. And we have this init macro that means this function will be run in the deploy. So here I'm just setting the initial value of, of this single value mapper with hey there message. Let's install the Clever IDE or Clever extension, Clever Fast Code extension. So let's click in this icon and search for Clever. Will be the Clever Chain IDE right here. So let's click install and it will appear the Clever logo right here. As you can see, the hello or our hello contract is already here. So when we do a right click, we can see all the options that we can integrate with the, this contract, like build, clean, deploy, invoke, run scenarios, upgrade, and that's it. But before it, we will generate a new account pen file. So as you can see, it generates an, an wallet for us with the address Kelv1 with the N N U A. So let's copy this address and now we can config the, the Clever Chain, the Clever Chain extension. So I'm going to open the VAS code settings right here and search for Clever. So as you can see here, uh, I have this field Clever Chain address. So I will paste the, the address and here. I will fill with the node. So we are using the testnet node. So this is the URL. And here is the path of my pen file. So my pen file is in this path right here with the name wallet key. So now I can ask for false. So I can click here on get KLV and it will generate a transaction testnet explorer and search for my address you can see i have the test balance right here now we can build our contract and it will generate a few files from for us after build we can see this output folder it have the abi json this file will help us to integrate with the the clever clever scan the Clever chain IDE and here we have the, the WASM file that is our contract. So now we can right click on the deploy contract and close the terminal. On the deploy page, uh, we can see that the contract binary is already here, the hello WASM and the ABI is already here too. So here we have a few properties. I'm gonna just use the default and let's create a transaction. So I'm gonna click to click here, create a transaction and it will broadcast the deploy of the contract. Here I have the hash, so you can go to the testnet explorer and check the, trans the transaction. Here 
it will result my address. This will be the contract address. So I'm going to copy. And here we can invoke the, this contract. The ABI file is already here too. So it will map all functions, all arguments and everything from, from the contract. And when I select the set message uh, function that represents this, this endpoint right here, I can fill with the argument like new message and broadcast the transaction. But before it, I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to check if the uh, initial state of the this mapper the header message is there. So I'm going to do a request for the this get message using CURL. So I'm going to paste the command right here. It have the get message func name right here and the smart contract address. So I will press enter and it will return this data right here. This data is in X, so we need to convert to string. So let's do it. I'm just going to convert this value. And there it is. The, this, there is the HDR message. So now I'm going to open the VS code again. And I'm going to invoke the, the contract to set to another message like new awesome message and click in create transaction and wait for the result after this we can again uh, do the CUR, curl request and as you can see the the data already changed so now let's copy and convert it again and there it is new awesome message that's it guys this was the smart contract video I hope you enjoy, so see you in the next videos.